is revealing that the company stored passwords of business enterprise users in plain text on internal systems for more than 10 years. In a corporate blog post, Google said, quote, we made an error when implementing this functionality back in 2005. The admin console stored a copy of the unhashed password. This issue has been fixed and we have seen no evidence of improper access to or misuse of the affected passwords. Dan Howley joins us now to break it all down for us. Uh, as I understand it, no consumer accounts were affected whatsoever. Yeah. So what does this mean? Is this actually something that we should be concerned about? It's something that enterprise users should be concerned about. So if you work at a job uh, that uses Google G Suite, then yeah, you, you should be. Uh, this is similar to what happened with uh, Facebook recently and uh, Instagram. Basically what happens is when you create a password, the system scrambles it using this Thing right. called hashing, right? It's completely indecipherable. It's a one way system. It can't go back. It can only go forward. Uh, so every time you enter your password, it corresponds with that hashed version. When they start in plain text like this, though, it's just straight up your password. So they can see, like, you know, uh, dog420, you know, right. like whatever it is that That's your password Miles's is. That's Miles' password. Yeah, dog420, That's yeah. Elon's. Yes, oh, well, yeah. Um, so that's how these were stored on these corporate servers, right? So if anyone had access to a corporate server, they could go in and see what users' passwords were and then you know, potentially access their accounts. Now, Google says that that didn't happen. Nobody right. did that. Uh, but you, know, you just never know when your password's stored there. And a lot of people use their enterprise you know, Google Drives as also their personal. personal. Yes. You know? I mean, Lots like, of blurred lines uh, here. Right. So it can go in between, and if someone had access to this uh, and they were able to, to jump in there, you don't know what they could have been able to use. So, I mean, Google saying it didn't happen, that's nice, but you still should definitely change your password. They're, by the way, automatically resetting all the passwords, period. So you're going to have to reset it. Clients. Yeah. Really? For, for affected enterprise But you think clients. a regular so person should also Is mine not going to work it? anymore? It should. I mean, mine works. You, it's, it's only affected I don't want to reset ones. it. I don't know what it is anymore. Well, no, I think Hallie's advice. Annoying. I, I want to make sure know. I understand. Isn't should, it, should even a regular <laughs> person today change your Google password? You're right. Consumers, no. Okay. Yes. Only, only if you're an enterprise user. But well, it's, you know... Let's, but the let's CEO zoom, of Udland Inc. should change right. the Google Drive. Let's zoom out a little bit, because you mentioned it's not just Google that this has happened to, and this seems to be a very ubiquitous problem where, okay, some employees happen to have our passwords. Uh-oh, what do we do? Is it negligence on the company's part? Is it malice? Is there any kind of you know, negativity that we can attribute to anyone working within those entities? Uh, it's negligence, for sure, on the company's part as a whole. Uh, the security best practices is always to hash passwords, so nobody knows that it's dog 420, right? You know, Miles, change it already. Right. Um, it's but, not 30 characters long, like uh, after required. Yeah. Oh, know. my God. Uh, um, but, yeah, I think it's, it's negligence. Uh, you, you know, this is different than, I think, uh, Facebook's issue because Google isn't so egregious with how, you know, their security breaches happen. They have had issues, though. Uh, they shut down Google Plus because, A, nobody used it, and, B, it was a huge security risk. Right. Uh, they've had issues along these lines before. Twitter has had a similar issue. So I think it's something that just tech companies need to be more aware of. And, yes, they put a lot into security, but, obviously, if this is still happening, then they're not putting enough into it. I understand that, yep. you know, when you develop code, that's human-based. So, like, if uh, Windows, uh, someone figures out a bug in Windows to exploit it, okay, that's, you know, to a degree almost acceptable because people make code, people are fallible, and there's bad guys that are looking to break into that code. But when it comes to storing our passwords, that should be something that's infallible. Yep. Right. Just store it properly and don't make me reset it all the time. Exactly. So, I, I, yeah, I think it's negligence on the company's part. So, dog320, you're switching it after the show. Yes. Dog420, exclamation point. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thanks so much, Dan, for joining us. Thank you. Uh,